Physiology really is um, sort of a study of the science of life. Um, I think we're at the forefront of medical research in, in that we kind of try and understand how cells work together to form organs, how organs function so that you know, we as humans can, can function as a, as a living organism. The UCD offers a, a really strong kind of research focus in physiology. So faculty in, in UCD physiology is about 15 people. They're all research um, uh, focused in their day-to-day -day work um, and um, we get students then to move into sort of a almost like a one-on-one -on -one research environment in stage four. So I think that's maybe one of the main features is, is sort of this drive towards a, a medical research type environment in the, in the final year. And then when I was filling out the CAO, I didn't really know what to put down. I was between teaching and science. And this course had both, so I said like, I'd give it a go. Um, so in first year, I came in pretty heavy set on studying biology. Um, and then in second year, I branched into neuroscience, pharmacology, physiology, and cell biology. Um, and then there was these two modules, um, physiology modules in second year. And I just spent so much time studying them. I loved them. I was so interested in them. And I decided that physiology was for me based on those. So I think it really suits students that are interested in biology firstly, maybe sort of an understanding of how the body works and, and perhaps an interest in medicine. You know, we see a lot of students that are sort of, sort of torn between you know, medicine and, and science. And I think this fills a really nice gap that you, you're learning a lot about uh, how the body works and, and maybe things that go wrong in the body uh, during sort of disease processes. So if you want to do physiology in UCD, um, you come into science in, in the first year and do a relatively broad set of modules. Uh, that teach you general sort of fundamentals of chemistry, physics, uh, biomolecular skills. Um, then in stage two, um, if you want to continue on to do physiology in the, in the third year, um, you need to do uh, two core physiology modules. Um, uh, in summary, they really cover the, the basics of how cells function, um, a bit on sort of neuronal signaling, how muscles work. So it's kind of very cellular sort of uh, physiology. And then the second main module in the second year is a, more of an introduction to the organs. Um, so we do a few lectures on, on how the heart works, how the gastrointestinal system works, how the lungs work, just to give you a flavor of sort of organ physiology. Into the third year, uh, then we get more organ specific with, with, with whole modules dedicated to whether, uh, systems, whether it be the brain, the digestive system, or the endocrine system. In the third year, we also develop uh, research skills. So you know, we want you to learn how to do experiments, how to measure things. So we, we bring you into the laboratory for about 60 hours in, in the third year and teach you these basic techniques. With a view then, when you move to the fourth year, um, you become more interested in sort of medical research and, and pathophysiology. So we take that sort of fundamental physiology and we add a little bit of um, uh, information about sort of, you know, what goes wrong in different diseases um, and, and how we can maybe learn uh, to develop new treatments for different diseases. And then that is underpinned in the fourth year by a, by a research project where you spend um, about 10 weeks in the laboratory uh, focusing on a very specific um, area. Um, and again, usually these are sort of um, disease related questions that, that we're working on in the laboratory. I would tell them to like branch out in first and second year and definitely pick as many streams or modules that you can definitely try everything and then maybe towards the end of second year you can try and pick out what you want because there's just loads of time in first and second year to decide. It's just a really good way of figuring out what you like and what you don't like. Yeah, so the, the, the course is delivered predominantly uh, via lectures in the, uh, the first and second year um, but of course we try and sort of supplement lectures with tutorials and practicals. Um, in second year then that might be more sort of um, computer-based learning, looking at structures of tissues. And then as we move into the third year, we need to do more practical work like um, ECGs and pulmonary functions. So it'll be real kind of lab-based uh, activities. And building from there, it'll be uh, you know, research lab-based activities. Um, as we move into the third year as well, it's, we work, work into smaller groups. So our class size is about 30 students. Uh, so we go from sort of large lectures in the first year or two down to relatively small groups in the, in the third and fourth year. When lectures finish up around like five o'clock, my friends and I will go for a nice walk outside before we hit the library for the evening. And it's just really nice to get some fresh air and relax before we hit the books. The graduates from physiology uh, often go into medically related fields. So it's, it's quite common to go into graduate entry medicine perhaps, um, or into sort of more of a, a, a research type environment. So maybe about half of our graduates go on to do a, a master's or a PhD in research. Um, about a quarter maybe go into medicine. 
um, and the rest go into um, fields such as pharmaceutical companies um, again sort of research. So I think the advice I'd give to students embarking on physiology is, is to just take a really broad general approach in the first year. Um, you know, there's a lot of different um, modules that all feed in towards physiology so, so keep it broad, um, have fun, go to lectures, um, you know, meet your peers, um, join in the societies.